My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and uh, we are on part six. What, 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 We've had six, six, nine views, so nearly 700. It's put up an hour ago, eight comments. What's the top comment? We'll just quickly find the top comment. Newest first. I follow your channel for a long time now. Can I ask where, I ask you doing this full time now? I love the bike, usual kind of rubbish. Right then, let's... Uh, this is oh, Kawasaki ZX-7R fork oil change. Street Fighter Makeover Project, day number six. So he's put this as the title because he wants this to be like the main thing because hopefully if you're looking for a ZX-7 or a Kawasaki or fork oil change, how many times can we actually just change fluids in these things and make videos out of it? Literally, that is a question that scientists have want to know for a long time. And Dell is actually doing the experiment. He's actually doing this for science. He is doing the same video again and again and again and again and again and again and again and, again and see how many views he can get from it. So. Right, good morning. Whoa, Welcome whoa, back. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bit quick. What happened to the the, the spinning Dell icon thing? Wow. So, a wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. But they're not the same thing. <laughs> I don't think Bruce Lee said it, space exclamation. But it's like, a wise man can learn from a foolish question. True. Well, can he? Because the wise man has defined it as a foolish question. And what is a foolish question? A foolish, a foolish, a foolish question would be, if... You've just told someone something, so you've just said, um, right, we can't do this because this this snake is ve venomous. And then you say, is it venomous? It's like, I've just said that. That is a stupid question. Why have you, were you not listening? Where a, what, what this is meant to mean is a simple question. So sometimes the simplest questions you can actually learn from. You know, like, why can't we do this? It's like, that's a good question. Why can't we do that? Um, and that, then you'd be like, whatever. Um, then a fool can learn from a wise answer. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Right, what are we doing? Right, good morning. Welcome back. Okay, time to pop the front end back in. Before I do that, you might think it's obvious. Have a look at the headstock bearings while we've got the front out. Yeah. Have a look inside the forks and see what they're like. You would do that on any normal project, but this project is a makeover of something I've already done a few years ago. I know. Like the swing arm painting. <laughs> like everything else you've done so far. Like everything had been done. It's weird actually that what. It's weird that he says the, the steering bearings. Why can't we have a look at the damage, Dell? That would be good. Well, we got the front out. and Have a look inside the forks and see what they're like. You would do that on any normal project. But this project is a makeover of something I've already done a few years ago. Badly. You damaged everything. I know this bike has new headstock bearings. I I al we also all know that the headstock is damaged. No, it has all new fork internals because I... And you didn't put them together properly. Did it. And it was fine at the time. And it's only... No, 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 no. Oh, I need to insert the clip. Just using the soft, soft plastic edges. Edge of the hammer on this lip. We're just literally going to get it started. Bear in mind how hard this metal is. You can't heat the frame up to make it expand. Many people say put these in the freezer to make them smaller. You can do that, I guess, and it's not uncommon, but personally, I think putting high carbon, very brittle, high tensile steel in a freezer, making it extremely cold, makes it more brittle, so I don't like to do it. Room temperature, please. And all I'm doing with that. Right, once you get a little gap to it, I'll just go for, where are we? That's the big red one. It's, it's a bit thicker. Get that down the side. And you're putting a wedge, really. You're just driving the, the screwdriver in as a wedge. You're driving that bearing off. 
You got pancreas set? No. Sorry. So once that's got a little bit of a gap, come down with a wider chisel, being careful of the steel inside. I'm going to lean against this lock stop, get a wedge, and then aim down past this, not in towards it. So you're just kind of driving into the gap. Like that. You see it? Mm-hmm. You see it? Do you want to come around this side? Mm-hmm. Just driving the wedge down. Until the whole thing just drops off its mouth. There it is. Now, taking off this, this little inner cup. I'm gonna get this right. I need to insert the clip. The fine done a few hundred miles since this bike has been out of my hands so it's just time has passed four years or so to be exact so although i know the front end is okay it would be common sense to at least change the fork oil and then we can put the front end in so let's do that first it's done a couple of hundred miles the the fork the fork oil doesn't age just sat in the forks it's from use that's what it is all right it's from use and they say depending on whatever they expect it to be this now if it's brake fluid hygroscopic, blah, blah, and it actually corrodes the inside of the brake lines, there's a lot of reactions that can go on, etc, etc, etc. However, fork oil, no, 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 it doesn't break down over time. It, if you've got a fork oil bottle sat there, it doesn't just die. It's been dinosaur juice for God knows how many millions of years, right? It's, it's not like this. We didn't get crude oil just at the right time, and we also don't process it, apart from we try and remove some water and stuff. But this is pre-processed oil. Right, it's not like in 1926 we had to start drilling this oil field because if we didn't, it's going to go off. It's been sat in Fox doing nothing forever. Like, for instance, for instance, do you think he's going to change the fork oil on these forks? Because the servicing limit is every two years you change your fork oil, right? Have you changed the fork oil on these forks? Because it's nearly been sat there for two years. When he did this originally, the forks were the first thing he did. Right, One of the first videos he did. Did he do the forks oil again since? Before he sold it. You see, it's, it's called making shit up. making videos out of nothing. Why do you repair the actual things that are knackered down and that are crap? Why don't you change that cap screw that's on the rear swing arm? Why don't you... Uh, rear swing arm brake? Why don't you do all of these things? Why don't you do a good job of something for once? It's crazy. Like I say, the, his bike... He started the project in late 20... Early 2017? And he got rid of the bike in 2019. That's two years over. It was well over two years. And... He didn't replace the fork oil then. But now he is. Oh, you see this paint? This this is all crap, to be quite honest. People say it looks nice. It's not. It's a, it's a crap finish. If it's that difficult and you worry about whacking the tank, why don't you go from the other side? It's a bit tight in there, maybe. But, yeah, it just, whatever, whatever, Matt, don't worry about it. I just want him to nut the tank, lefties. He's got the wrong gloves on again. What is it with people in these gloves? And what is all of that? It's going to scrap bin. Rotate it like that. Once it clears the top, it comes straight out. Oh, lovely finish on that again. Why didn't you? That's a good point. Why didn't you use the ring end when you were undoing them on the forks? There's the ring end. It reaches 
Oh, he might not be able to get it down in there, actually. I'll take that back. I'll take it back. Coffee time. Right, just a cautionary word before I do this. I th a, a cautionary word from you. Show us your headstock bearings and then everyone should listen to what you say. <laughs> I think you probably know this already, but it's worth saying. When you undo an upside down fork, the spring doesn't ping out the top. That's a conventional fork. These ones, it's trapped in between the cap and the damper rod inside. So it's quite safe. But when you unscrew it, this outer tube will slide down all the way down till it hits the top of this knuckle at the bottom. So we're getting this. Look at that just pouring out now there is a tool the cap is connected to the innards and you'll see in a sec so we unscrew it down and it drops away now that won't come off that's connected to the inner part and that there that little lip you see just there is the top hang on, of this so that goes all the way up to there and that is it and so we've just slid the outer down over the fork leg area at the bottom you have to be careful of obviously the swept area of the fork at the top is nice and shiny and smooth and clean but below it is not and all that crusty crouton sharp scratchy bits that develop through road grime croutons dirt and corrosion if you slide that down over them it can obviously lacerate your fork seal and cause it to leak in the future which you don't want so clean that bottom area thoroughly before you undo this and slide it down Come See, he said this before what you do is you tie a rag around it he, he, he's changing what he does all the time sense I'm sure you knew that but it's definitely worth saying I oh, look there's nothing wrong with it oh whoa 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 is this tough black being really tough and down in there on the flat is this tough black being tough again just shite, in it. Oh, it does go all the way down to the bottom. Usually they don't make it all the way down to the bottom. I'll take that back. You don't have to go that far either. You only have to move it a tiny bit and just hold on to it and pour. You can put your hand literally between the two. But it's good to clean them, but you don't... It's busy work. It's usual busy work rubbish, isn't it? Look at this oil. This oil is brand new. Oh, that needed replacing. Oh, yeah. That needed replacing. That nicking that fork, look. That'll be in with the grinder. That fork. That needed replacing. You just leave it to dribble. Why has he got the jam jars out? Uh, the coffee jars out? God. This is like when Dave Moss said brake fluid needed changing every 40 days. Fucking hell. 40 days. 40 days. Change your brake fluid every 40 days, he says. What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you trying to get accuracy there with a the Pyrex jug, you div? You measure it. Oh, look, you're getting it everywhere, you div. Tip the fork over. God's sake. Cable tied to the side. <laughs> Don't fall near it. Is this what this video is? This is it. There's this thing called gravity. It's going to sit there for another year anyway, so you might as well leave it. It's going to probably sit here that long, it'll need redoing again at the end of it all.
Do you remember that bit where he told you about making sure that you maintain the height of the fork? No, I don't either. I know someone's going to say, yeah, well, he's probably just done it flush. It's like, probably, but this is the whole point. <gasps> oh, okay. look, you see, that's t is that tape? Imagine if it was insulation tape. That'd be amazing. So that's crap. It's already got scuffs in it, it but it's crap. It's just crap. Look at the finish on this. It's crap. People are like, oh, the finish is so good. Oh, look at these vents. That's Dell's handiwork, is that? Oh, look at the frame. Oh, yes, look at the frame. Beautiful. I know this search. I don't... Is that some people might know? Oh, that's fault. I didn't know that. That's volume up and down the volume. Does anyone know the button you can press to make that just disappear automatically? Like it will do when I press play, but when I'm paused, like there's that button that show details. I want to see there. You see, that's the problem because yeah, you can scroll down, but I don't want to do that. Right, for instance, what we'll do is we'll go we'll we'll go back. We'll go back and just watch that let's see. Just watch this down here when the bar disappears. Oh look at that finish on that frame. Right, that's right in your eye line. Beautiful finish. This bike is gorgeous. Move the rifle around your head, not the head your head around the rifle. <laughs> oh God's sake! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that one's a bit darker. Different oil. Well, you're the one who put it in. No, do you know what that is? That's because you didn't clean it the first time. Remember, you didn't clean it. You just poured oil in instead of actually taking it all apart and cleaning it. Is he now going to think? Is he now going to claim that someone else did it? Look, you see, look, you can see, you see how it's coming out now. This is all the dross, and this is all the crap because it's been sat that way up, and it's all sunk to the bottom, and that's because he didn't clean any of it because he's a lazy shite. This is why you clean it, Dell bollocks. Oh, what's he got here? There's a gasket, and it looks like there's an... an it's not an exhaust flange, because there's only one. It's the wrong ones. What's all this? <gasps> what's all this juicy stuff? Looks like there's an oil seal. Can't be a headstock one, surely. That says Harley-Davidson. That's a Harley-Davidson badge. So it's got some more Harley crap. What is he doing? What is he doing? See, does he think that someone changed the fork oil in one fork but managed to get it bang on to the one in the other? Shut up, Dell. It's because you didn't clean them. Simple. In the HDS series, I said, dude, you've got the forks completely. Just clean them. And then even he goes, now you could just take them out and clean them, but, but basically, but I just want a fork oil change. It's like, but you've got them... And again, he's not cleaning them. Again. He's not doing it again. This could be like a video, Dell. Like a proper video instead of this rubbish. Where you actually take those forks apart and clean them. But he can't do that because then there'll be a clip of me saying in the HDS series, you should have cleaned them, Dell. <laughs> oh my God, wait there, wait there. I've just noticed something else. He has got these two brackets here with all the screws. I say brackets. These scrap pieces of metal. Is he going to put them back on? What? You put them in the bin? Oh, I'd hang them up just as a... Like, look, look at this shite. It's weird you've got a vice. Why are you... Because <laughs> that holds the airline, Matt. <laughs> it's busy holding the airline. Wait there. Wait. Just... 5.47. Let's just go back a minute. What do you reckon that is? 
340? Maybe 350? 340. What did he put in before? It seems very guesstimation, doesn't it? Excellent bloody frame again. Look, oh god! I'm not bothered about because that could be just a bit of grease, and these could be fingerprints. It's the mottled where he painted it. Crap! You can see. Wow! Just absolute wow! Oh, I wish I'd got this bike. Yes, we could take the piss out, but I'd love to just sort it out, strip it back to back to frame, blast the frame, powder coat the frame. Just, like, bring it back to life. Oh, I'd love to. Maybe one day. Maybe maybe his really, really bad art will will finish him off and then Penny will go, I'm sick of all this nonsense. Here, just have the bike. That would be wonderful. And then we could do, like, a commemoration. You know, a commemoration bike. And then we'll... We'll, we'll raffle it off once it's done, and then I'll bloody give the money to the British Art Foundation or something. <laughs> wow. If someone's going to say, you can't joke about death, it's like, dude, we're all going to die. I'm going to die. Laugh your ass off about it. It's fine. Uh, look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Oh, have I gone have I skipped back? Oh you div. Sorry, sorry. I've skipped back. But it's almost the exact same scene. Click. That's it. Click. Right, somebody's changed a full coil at some point in the bike. I do not believe that. What are the chances that they use the same shite you did? I've got purple in one leg and gold in the other. Don't know why that is. Don't really care. It's not important because I've changed it now. But there's what is important is no sparkly bits or black sludge in either of them. They well, there was in the, the darker one. It's because you didn't clean the forks, though. Both came out nice and clean. And I'm happy with that because it means that inside the forks are in fine condition. Happy with that, and it's why it's very important to change the fork coil on cue every two years. Not only does it prevent the wear and tear long term, which is does it wear and tear your pocket. Also, it means you get the best performance from your forks all the time. The oil gets mushed over time, and it deteriorates. It gets mushed. Deteriorates. You won't notice it, but you will notice it when you change the fork coil, and suddenly the front end performs a lot better. And I'm happy with that. So that's it. Fork coil changed, both colours. Let's put the wheel in, and button it up. She wakes up early Monday morning. Oh, what is this crap song? Drags of bones out of. Look at them gorgeous rims. They've got speckles in them. Did you ask for metallic? Like 3D metallic. <laughs> <laughs> I also love how there's more wear on the rear disc than there is the front. I think Isaac's been riding this. It's always, it's always the sign of a quality rider is that when the fronts are pristine and the backs are half, half capacity <laughs> after a thousand miles. Wow. Oh, so. Goes across to the mirror. Oh yeah, someone's saying it's pen. Someone... But no, that's just crap, isn't it? Look, it's just... 
Oh, this might be pen. Remember, there was a bit missing, wasn't there? This was was this the one that was missing? It would all come off. Keen Owl Fire. To see the image in her head. Oh, this town she lives in. She's got a back. Can't see anything of the rims. See, see that? You can see there's this nice silky bit where it is actually a bit flat, but the rest of it's just absolute nonsense. Against the wall. Actually, which one's the nut? Can't remember now. Just watched him do it. Oh, he's talking stuff up all of a sudden. Oh, that's strange. It's almost like we never saw him do it before because he didn't have the cor the torque wrenches, and now he's got this this anodized set from Sealy. Now all of a sudden, he's all over the talking. It's weird that. And I said in my last video, I think the one before, that if he actually talked stuff up, he could actually pad out his videos even more. And here we are. We are before he started talking anything, where were we? Yeah, so we're eight minutes. He's like, I can't do eight minutes because YouTube wants you to do at least ten minutes, and this is ten minutes six advertising reasons. So basically he's like, I could pad this out in the two minutes. Copper grease, Del. No one said copper grease. She walks down the pain and stream with memories. Try and grab. Tough black bin, tough again. Copper grease bin, slippery again on your brake. Oh man. The other thing is, as well, is with the copper grease, right? And I'll, I'll, this is another point, right? Nowhere near your brakes. Now, I know I've hammered this to death, but do you think he's got any copper grease on the end of the bolts? And do you think when he winds it in, that basically what it does is it squeezes out the copper of the grease, the, the copper of the grease, <laughs> jab of the hut, the copper of the grease. <laughs> it pushes that copper of the grease out of that hole there. So when the fastener comes all the way through, there's a bit of grease now just hovering above your disc. Do you think that's a thing? That'd be fine if it's a blind hole, but they're not. These are threaded open holes. So as you wind this in, this nice... And where does that go? Where are these fasteners? They're right in line with your disc. Wonderful. Look, you see, look, this section is in front of the disc. She just walks right on through. Look, it's like if it drips off, it goes bloop straight onto your disc and your pads. This one goes bloop to the bottom. Great, fantastic. Now, I know people might think that, nah, oh, God, the chances. But if it's you out of 10,000 people, it's you. If you go to grab on and that disc slips and it makes the wheel go funny and you get this weird and it's jarring and it's the moment when you need it to save your bloody life, you have an accident at least. It's just, why? You don't need... The thing is, this is the thing. It makes the talk settings wrong and they're not designed to have it. Hands in you don't need it. It's very deep, all the stuff she lives in. His talk settings are wrong. Seen the best and worst of her. All this town she lives Oh, look! You've got the massive, you've got this huge giant. Phone book of a manual. And he's got the Harley, Harley Davidson one. You got this phone book of a I don't know why it's that big. You got this phone book of a manual, right? Where did it say he was copper grease on the fastener still? Because I know for a fact it didn't. Has tried his best to keep her down. Building still the same old story. Right, we're now padding out the next. I've gone blank. Forty seconds with this. They long to see better day. It's just, it's just, it's just you're highlighting all the crap. But the faces switching through the curtains. This horrible song. Ugh. The only long to see out today. 
Oh, who sang this? They really can't sing either. They can sing as well as I can. And I can't. Jesus Christ alive. Hey, oh, this town we live in. That's some serious padding out right there, isn't it? Jesus. It's got an assault. Now let me guess. The comments are like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, let's have a look. Oh god, right then. Okay, one of these videos again. Right. Uh, 13 comments. Newest first. Let's make sure we catch the newest ones. Well worth doing, Dell. Good practice. Sure is, mate. Even his replies and people's comments are getting shite, aren't they? Who knew kitchen tools would come in hand so handy in the garage? Well, if I'm being honest, I did have some of the same items in the garage too. Ha ha. It's literally, ha ha, great minds think alike. Bless the pound shop, eh? I have found your channel for a long time. I have followed your channel for a long time now. Are you doing this full time? Sadly not, mate. I still have to do a day job. He is driving around the town, pissing everybody off. Mrs. Dell is just text and asked for her utensils back. It, you, you all forgot the fact that he's also using a, a, a what is it, a, a, a turkey tray. I love what you're doing with this bike. It looks like, it looks great with those gold wheels. It's really nice when you're, when you buy back a bike you owned before because you get to play with it all over again. Is this like rubbing, rubbing someone else's penis? I totally agree, mate. Like getting an old, like getting to know an old friend. I can see my motorcycle tag on your wall. Nice. Fire that thing up. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. <laughs> see. With all the cooking equipment you are use you were using, I thought for a moment I had tuned into MasterChef by mistake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even obsessive car detailer who usually types a comment just he, <laughs> he can't even be bothered. I should have done the fork oil in my ZX9 last year, but I'll get to it as she sits for winter now. Val that'd be a good time to do it. <laughs> Valve check and steer bearings on Dad's VFR 1200 happening first. Have a good week. You want to check? We want Dell. Everyone should petition for Dell to check his head bearings. We want to have a good look at them, just in case. Good old winter prep servicing. I. I. That's what we're going to do. He's an allergy now. Always brings a list of jobs. Well, no, the winter doesn't bring jobs. list of jobs, does it? Have fun with it, buddy. And thank you for your support, as always. Support? I hope he's giving him money. Uh, this is so boring. What is this? What is this? Who knows? 13 comments. Even everyone's given up, aren't they? Look, they're just giving up. It's just like, Wow. Even I've given up. This 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 is no good. This is just Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit. Ooh, look at the marks on them forks. Is that actually a good good half mark? Oh no 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 I wanted to see the thumbnail. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Right, on the thumbnail. No. Why is it autoplay? Stop Oh, any road. On the thumbnail, you can see it looks like there's a little nick in the fox. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you in a bit.